In this video, you'll get to join me to the beautiful Rainbow Mountains where things didn't go quite as expected. I'm not having fun at all. The worst excursion I've ever done. Oh. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am whispering because it is currently 3.55 a.m. and the reason why we've woken up this early is because today we are going to the famous Rainbow Mountains here in Peru and the tour company we're going with is picking us up at 4.15 a.m. so very very early honestly I don't really understand why the tour has to start this early in the morning like I know it's not to beat the crowds because all the tours leave at this time so yeah for some reason this tour starts really really early so just gotta deal with that and yeah Unfortunately, for my part, I have actually managed to accidentally pull an all-nighter. Sometimes if I know I need to wake up really, really early, I just can't manage to fall asleep. Even if I'm tired, it's just, I don't know, I just keep thinking, oh no, I have three hours left, two hours left, one hour left before uh, the alarm goes. I don't know, is anyone else like me? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully, I could maybe manage to get at least some sleep on our ride there but uh yeah welcome joining us to this video we are on our way we have now been driving for about an hour and 40 minutes and i managed to get a little bit of sleep maybe like half an hour 40 minutes something like that so I'm not running on completely empty now anymore, so that's good. And now we have stopped for some breakfast, which is included in our tour. And then after that, we still have another two hours to go with the car. Currently, we're actually in a town called Kusipata. And I find it a bit funny because, well, if there's anyone who's Finnish watching this video, you would know that Kusipata in the Finnish language means pea stew. So let's hope that's not a representation of what the breakfast will be like. We're back in the car and now we have two more hours to go. I'm gonna try and see if I could maybe manage to take a second nap. So. So I have some energy for the hike, but yeah, we're definitely driving in some really beautiful surroundings. Before getting to the hike starting point, we are stopping to use the bathrooms. Yeah, we're soon almost there yeah we've just gotten a briefing because it's so high in altitude there's a bunch of safety precautions and stuff but i'm feeling good and excited despite the lack of sleep i managed to sleep one more hour in the car so that's good Okay, we have arrived to the starting point. Looks like this. And unfortunately, it's raining a little bit. Rul had to buy a poncho. Luckily, I'm wearing a raining, wait, a rain jacket. <laughs> and, oh man, I'm out of breath already. So, the hike up to the Rainbow Mountain is actually only one kilometer. It doesn't sound bad, right? But the thing is, we are at 4,000 meters up and at the top we'll be at 5,000 meters up which is the highest I've ever been apparently there's 50% less oxygen here which you can hear from my breathing so it's uh, quite tough if you feel like it's too tough for you you can go up with a horse or with a motorcycle but apparently that costs 70 soles so it's quite expensive we're gonna hike up to the Rainbow Mountain and after that we're gonna do a little extra part to also see the red valley hopefully as long as we don't start feeling bad or the tour provider also has extra oxygen all these kind of things if you start feeling bad i've heard a lot of people throw up here 
because of the altitude. Apparently the beginning part is easier and then the ending part is tougher. So starts the hike. Let's go. So we managed to get a pretty good deal on our tour to the Rainbow Mountain. For a full day tour we paid 60 soles, which included tour guide, safety equipment, transport, breakfast and lunch. There was also an additional entrance fee for the Rainbow Mountain, which was 10 soles. I think I'm maybe halfway. You can already see all the people over there. Like if it wasn't for the altitude, it, wasn't, it wouldn't be tough at all. Actually quite a lot forward and small hills up. Well, apparently the last part is quite steep. Other than that, it's not bad at all, but it's just this altitude. Even if we've been in high altitudes already for a long time, I definitely recommend acclimatizing to high altitudes a bit before coming here, for sure. Okay, honest opinions, I'm not having fun at all. It's raining a lot, I can't breathe. We're not even there and I feel like we won't even be able to see anything on the top because it's so foggy. Sorry for being negative, but these are just my honest opinion of this excursion right now. You know, normal people go to the beach, but here we are. So currently it is actually snowing. We're almost there, but F this. I'm not having a good time at all. Sorry if there's droplets on the camera. I can't help it. Sorry for being so negative. But this might be the worst excursion I've ever done. Well, big part because of the champions. weather, to be honest. One more champions. See? Almost there, the last few meters, but it's so slippery. It's snowing, it's crazy. I just want to see the beginning, like the peak a little bit. But I'm definitely not doing the Red Valley in this weather. I just want to get there where that woman is, the purple jacket has her hands up. If I get there, I don't need to go up there. If we get there, I'm happy. That's enough. Oh. Okay, against all odds, I've actually made it to the top. Well, you can go even higher, like you can go all the way up there, but I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, it's snowing. We have made it. It's also crowded, but it is a beautiful mountain. <laughs> Looks like this. Just very, very foggy, so you can barely see anything and very crowded as well. So it's hard to get a good picture. I made it. We are now heading back down. Of course, the snowing has stopped now and it's a little bit clearing up now when we are heading down, which is very typical. The hardest part when we were going up, it was like snowing so much, you couldn't see anything, super muddy, super slippery. And yeah, like the altitude is necessarily not even the problem. Like I got out of breath, but I don't have a headache. I don't feel nauseous, like I feel fine, but I'm cold. I was scared. You can't see anything, you're all wet. Even if I'm wearing a rain jacket, like my pants are all wet, my hands are all wet, feeling really cold. So we just got really unlucky with the weather this time. It feels like even if we would have gone half an hour or an hour later or an hour earlier, it probably would have been fine. We've decided to skip the Red Valley because honestly it's so foggy that you can't even see anything. So I don't think it is worth it to pay ex an extra 20 soles each for probably a similar experience as this. Like the Rainbow Mountain was really beautiful. I feel good that I did it, but yeah, we just got really, really unlucky with the weather. And now we're heading downwards. This has been something.
what an excursion. Can't wait to take a hot shower and honestly just lie in bed and do nothing. <laughs> but the views here right now are really nice here down like down the hill actually. So it's quite foggy, but over there you can see a bit what the Red Valley would have looked like. So mountains and well, a valley that's completely like red, red, red. Like I was really actually looking forward to seeing that, but it honestly just wasn't doable this time. And yeah, but the, actually the views here down when you're walking down, I almost like them more than the view of the Rainbow Mountain itself. So. Yeah, maybe also because the weather was just so bad up there that you couldn't really enjoy it. But the views here now are absolutely stunning. I've made it back to the car. I can barely feel my fingers. If you do the Rainbow Mountain, bring gloves. I would have had gloves. I knew it was gonna be chilly. It was fine until it started snowing because when walking up, you know, you get quite warm from the exercise and it was fine. But once it started snowing and wind was blowing and you could barely see in front of you and you were starting to walk really, really slow as well. So you weren't even warm from the exercise really anymore. It started getting really cold. Oh man, that was. Let's just say it wasn't the excursion or the Rainbow Mountain experience that I had in my head. I know it's m m like very, very often very cloudy here. Like I know that's, oh wow, sorry, my hair looks crazy, but yeah, I know that it's very normal for it to be very cloudy here. But yeah, it was uh, next level, the weather for us this time. And I checked the weather still this morning, like at 3 a.m. before we left. And it said it wasn't even supposed to rain. And I really checked it for this specific spot. But I guess you can't really count on the weather up here. But um, yeah, so cold. I think we're still gonna go for lunch to the same place where we had breakfast. And then after that, I can't wait to take a hot shower. Everyone in our car seems to think it was a bit of a crazy experience. I'm freezing a little bit after the hike. Somehow I got really, really cold, I guess because my clothes are soaked and stuff, I'm trying to warm up, but it's taking some time. Hopefully it will be a bit warmer when we go lower in altitude. <laughs> We have come back to our hostel here in Cusco. The Rainbow Mountains and the whole surroundings were absolutely beautiful. The weather, like, first of all, you couldn't really see much. The wind was so strong and it was so foggy. And then with the snow, it was like snowing sideways. So it was all snowing in your face. And it got really, really cold also because of that. Personally, I thought the worst part was that the route became super, super muddy. So you were about to slip constantly. And I saw a bunch of people fall and slip. And I'm pretty sure there's been quite a bit of injuries there today. The surroundings were still very, very beautiful. But in the moment, you couldn't really appreciate them to the fullest because you were a bit in the survival mode. I didn't really have any issues with the altitude personally. I think it's because we've already been traveling in high altitude places for a long time, but I could imagine if you would come to Cusco directly and then do this, you might be in risk for getting altitude sickness. So bring a lot of water, also maybe bring some paracetamol or something if you get a headache, drink some coca tea, those kind of things. Try to prepare for it a little bit and just take it easy when going up. I would also recommend sleeping before doing this tour. Uh, not only sleep a little bit on the bus, but actually I'm not feeling 
that tired to be honest i have a bit of like cramps in my legs i'm thinking that might be because i haven't slept i'm not sure also the hike itself is not one kilometer long it's the elevation gain that's one kilometer the hike one way up was about according to my phone like three three and a half kilometers and then back so it became like a seven kilometer walk we survived i'm still happy we did it Unfortunately, it wasn't as I had imagined it in my head. I had thought I would get the most amazing and beautiful photos, but I was barely even able to take out my camera there because of the weather. I didn't want it to break, like my big photography camera and stuff. So, but traveling is not always perfect or the way you imagine it to be. What I heard also from the people in our bus, a lot of people had turned back already like one third or halfway there when they saw that the weather was getting bad and they were just like, yeah, not worth it, which I maybe understand. Personally, I just, I don't know. Something in me just was like, I have to finish it. So I did, and I'm glad that I did. But yeah, I think that concludes this little video. I don't think it turned out the way I had imagined in my head either at all. I thought it was gonna be a beautiful video, with beautiful mountain views. Okay, there are beautiful mountain views, but I didn't know it would be this uh, <laughs> tough. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye!